Today I have the honor of interviewing Chris Williams with C. Williams Home Inspections. So Chris, tell us a little bit about who you are and how you got started. Again, like you said, my name is Christopher Williams with C. Williams Home Inspections. I have uh, been doing home inspections for about eight, nine years now. Um, from a very small rural town back in Goldsboro, North Carolina, I came to Charlotte to go to school. I met a lot of friends. I uh, started working at a company, well, FedEx for a while. Met a guy out there who was doing home inspections who kind of got me on the path of doing them. Um, I tried it out with him for a couple of times, fell in love with it, and the rest is history. Awesome. How long have you been doing it? Uh, since 2015, so going on about eight years now. Oh, wow. Okay. What's, uh, what's your favorite thing about doing home inspections? My favorite thing about doing home inspections is actually making sure that the client is getting a quality product, right? Okay. So um, a lot of times clients go inside of a home and they're purchasing and they're looking at the the trim, they're looking at the type of countertops they have, the fixtures, exactly all the cosmetic things. And I go in and kind of make sure they're not getting that house is going to fall apart on them as soon as they move in. A lot of information and a lot of things they're not able to check when they don't spend a lot of time there. I go into great detail to try to make sure I thoroughly inspect every aspect of it, just to make sure that they are well aware of knowing what they're getting themselves into. Okay, okay. Well, tell me who is your ideal client? Now, I know for the most part, realtors are we're part of your client gotcha. and then the end client, the, the actual home buyer or mm -hmm. home seller, either way, yep. um, is, is also your client. But, but tell me who is your ideal client? My, so just like you said, the realtor is more like the store, right? And the client is the customer inside the store that actually purchases it. So I do a lot more work with the stores that bring me the clients, but my ideal client would be what I always love, like first time home buyers or somebody who really don't know much about a home. They're just really excited about it. Because when you're excited about things, it's really easy to skip over some of the things that you're like, well, I can deal with that later. It's not a big deal. Right. And a guy like me comes in and says, hey, this kind of is pretty big. So just know that if you choose this route, you're going to have to end up paying or doing this amount of things to it. So someone who is really excited about the home and who really just wants to know more and more about the house. Okay. Okay. So that's your, that's your ideal client, somebody who's excited and just want, and wants the knowledge about what's, uh, <laughs> what's going on inside the house. Um, I guess from that perspective, what are some of the things, and I'm going to first acknowledge we're in North Carolina mm -hmm. and North Carolina might be different mm -hmm. for home inspections than Oregon. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> let's just say, what are some of the things that you see, some of the most common things that you see as you're inspecting homes in North Carolina? So in North Carolina, I tell everybody, there's not a perfect home no matter where I go. Some of the most common things that you have to worry about as far as big things are more homes with crawl spaces, the type of foundations that we have here. A lot of moisture issues come from those that people don't get to see. And nine times out of 10, people don't know about the moisture issues inside of their home until it's affecting them inside, like something's breaking. And before it gets to that point, or by the time it gets to that point, it's too late. You're right. spending a lot of money. That's one of the most common things that I find, are just areas that people don't go to on a regular basis to inspect. Mm -hmm. Meaning you can have a leak in your crawl space for five years right. because you never go down there you're not going to notice it until it starts affecting you inside of the dwelling. That's when, um, those, those are the things that I find most of. Because most of the time when people see something wrong, they try to fix it. Yeah. Most of the time. Well, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to talk about the deferred maintenance and, oh, yeah, and all that man. stuff. <laughs> yep. But, um, okay, so getting away from the actual home inspection itself, mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about why home inspections? What made you choose this as a um, career path? Um, so, again, I was doing FedEx. I was with FedEx for like about... 10 years, and I wasn't really going too, too far um, without the ability to move to another state. So doing this allowed me to, one, open up my time, control my time, be able to be a people person that I am, help people out um, a lot, and also it gave me the freedom and flexibility to kind of kind of dictate where I go and how I do things, meaning I don't have to follow the rules that somebody set in place. By me having my own company, I can do it the way I like to do it. Um, the way that we were taught is like a wham, bam, hey, this, we did it, we'll send you a report later. Mm -hmm. I like to spend time with the clients, I like to give a thorough review, right. I like to go over everything with pictures and details. And that's not really uh, a common thing that you have, but since I'm my own business, I can do it and make sure that the customer is very well informed. Right, but did you have a an interest in like the inner workings of of homes and just how things how things work? You know, like um, was there any like general contracting in your background, anything like that that so, made you specifically want to be no, in so the home inspection? There's space? no general contracting back there, but I am just generally interested in how things work together. Okay. Right, so. Um, 
Yep, exactly. So the home is a whole bunch of systems that work together. Like I always like to say we're relationship specialists, meaning I make sure that the electrician works well with the carpenter and the carpenter works well with the plumber because they can come behind each other and mess stuff up. And then a homeowner can come behind them and mess everything up trying to do it themselves. Right. So just seeing how everything works together. Like a lot of times people say, well, I'm just cut my AC off. Well, the AC does more than just cool your home. It actually pulls moisture out of the air. So if you don't want your walls to start to get kind of moldy, that mildewy smell, you need that air conditioner system running, mm -hmm. making sure it's intact. Well, I need to close these vents off or this is disconnected. Well, I just put a little bucket of under here to catch the leak. Well, that's going to cause your wood to rot and mold to grow and stuff like that. Just seeing how things relate and work with each other. I love seeing that come together because it takes a lot just to make that home function properly.